Here are some other ideas for ways for you to sell your artwork online. You have this collection of great paintings and you think they're not selling. I'm having a lot of shows, but I'm not selling. So what else can I do? You look at the series and it was really, really popular and you say, well, I could have sold this twice. So here's some ideas for you. You can turn your artwork into digital downloads for desktop wallpaper, stock photos. You can put your artwork on hats, mugs, t-shirts, enamel pins, fabric, or you can sell copies of it on paper, on canvas. And there's all kinds of ideas out there for you to use your artwork a second time. Keep in mind that this is another way to get your name known, but it's also work. It's work that you do on top of selling. It's work that you do on top of creating your artwork, on top of finding galleries, on top of having home shows. It's extra work. You have to decide if you have time to do this. This is also called passive income because you can sell copies as opposed to originals. And in theory, you can make lots of money by just selling copies. Sounds easy, doesn't it? It does, but it isn't. You have a product, you have to do some marketing. A lot of these companies, what they will do is they will market your work on their site but you need to bring the people to it if you want to sell more. But it's also a good way for people to buy your artwork if they cannot afford an original. So instead of buying an original that might cost maybe hundreds of dollars, they can buy something under a hundred. So it's not a bad process, but it is a lot of work. You also have to decide if your artwork suits this platform. Just like all the artwork, you have to keep an inventory sheet of what you put where. And again, it's more work. So here are some ideas for you that you can check out, some sites. ArtPal is very popular and it's a free gallery to sell and buy art. And they also have a print on demand service. That means people can order prints of your work. If you approve it, you have a choice. You can approve people buying prints of your work or you can sell only originals. There's singular art that I don't know very much about, but it's very much like ArtPal, ArtFinder, you need to be juried onto this site. So you need to submit some work and they have to decide if they want you on their site. Keep in mind that your artwork might not fit on every site. What they're looking for is artwork that suits their clients and their style. Saatchi, where I live, this is very popular. It has over 65,000 artists across the globe. Again, keep in mind that when you join these galleries, you need to bring the clients to your site because there's so many other artists. Society6 is very popular as well, and it's a great place for your artwork. And they also have a printing feature where you can put your work on phone cases, stickers, t-shirts, shower curtains, and posters. There's Printful, where you can have prints made of your work. There's Artquid, where this is an online gallery to sell mostly originals. And DeviantArt is very popular. They include not only artwork, but videos and photography. Amazon is another popular site. Keep in mind that on Amazon, you have to pay a monthly fee to be on there. eBay. That's mostly for inexpensive paintings, and they also charge a merchandising fee. Etsy is very popular. It's known mostly for the craft people, but at the same time, you'll find lots of paintings and sculptures and photography on there too. Zazzle is another marketplace where you can sell your artwork. Cafe Express is a great place to sell your work and you can have it on iPhone cases there too if you want. Redbubble is another good site. Here you can have your work on clothing, computer cases, phone cases, all kinds of products. Fine Art America. This is another site where you can have your artwork. They provide 
a print-on-demand service. It's a little more elaborate than other places because you can buy frames and they sell poster materials. So check them out. There's all kinds of ideas out there for you to use. So your task for this section is to check out three different sites, pick one, download a few pieces, let your people know, and see if it works for you. If it works for you, keep going. If it doesn't work for you, then check out a different site. So that's your task. Choose one of these sites to try out, and we'll see you in the next section.